Welcome to Reread Rome, book six, the final book in the series Junior J Nights, written by Rebecca Moesta. It is called Kenobi's Blade. And this one, it takes, Anakin says it's been, he's a year away from being 13, so it's obviously been a year in between the two books. So I, like I said, I'll go ahead and read Diversity Alliance next and see, but I'm pretty positive this would take place after the Diversity Alliance, because a lot could have happened in between then. Shoot, maybe it takes place at the end of Junior J Knight's period. But either way, obviously time has passed, at least a year since then. So that was nice to know. Anyway, it goes back to Old Deer. He's upset because he's still, he's still struggling to be a Jedi. Uh, the holocron, holocron doesn't work for him. It works for the other people, but not for him. He's getting really frustrated. He remembers what Orlok, the, the mage, said to him that he could teach him the Force. So he decides to steal the holocron, steal Obi Kenobi's lightsaber, steal the Sunrider, which is Ikrit's new ship, and take off to Exus Station to go find Orlok to teach him how to become a Jedi. And of course, Orlok is using magic tricks to convince um, Oldar, Oldier, I guess, that he can use the Force when you really can't. Meanwhile, Anakin, Tahiri, uh, Tone, and uh, Ikrit go after uh, Oldir to Exus Station. Uh, Tyone recounts her adventure with Luke Skywalker, that she met him at Exit Station. Uh, the whole adventure that was in uh, Kevin Janishan's short story in the Star Wars Adventure Journal gets mentioned. Of course, she failed to mention that that's when she had the Lore Seeker, <laughs> not just recently. Unless it's the second uh, ship called the Lore Seeker she got. I mean, what are the odds of that? Either way, um, Orlok is defeated. They get the Holocron and the lightsaber back. Uh, Old Deer, Old Deer accepts that he does not have the force in him, even though you still think, you still think maybe at the end he'll use the force. I remember being shocked when I first read this that that little boy didn't turn out to have the force in him because I believe every little boy thought when they were reading that, oh yeah, he's going to be a Jedi, he's going to be a Jedi. And to be honest, they kind of hint in a way. They, they make you think that he's going to, even though he, he learned how to do things the wrong way, maybe this time he nudges something with the force and he does have the force in him. No, he's just an average kid. But now he's happy as being a pilot, and he knows he doesn't have to be like his parents who just make, you know, freighter runs back and forth. He can work for the Jedi Academy delivering supplies with old Peckham. And it's really nice, and it's a, such a unique ending, and, and something that I know this gets said in a bad context most times these days, but it subverts your expectations. We thought Oldir was going to be this Jedi. We just knew that Luke was wrong. We knew that it was coming. The other shoe was about to drop. This is a kid's novel. Every kid who doesn't have the Force, who can't, you know, because at home, as a kid, you probably tried to use the Force as a kid, or, oh, let me see if I can levitate something. You know, we all wish we could do that. So a lot of people, a lot of the children reading this book were probably channeling their old ear and going, yeah, I know what it feels like not to be able to use the Force, because that's me right now. And to see him use the Force at the end would have been so cool. You're like, oh, you just got to keep believing in yourself. And no, you don't have the Force, you don't have the Force. Move on with your pathetic life. <laughs> that wasn't the gist of it, but I really like how they just said, no, and he didn't have the Force. But he lived happily ever after. Um, this, the, the, uh, they're they're going to uh, overcome Ran Rats, and uh, I can't remember who else or Orlok has working for him. And it doesn't say what kind of mage he is. I always wondered if he was like from the Sorcerers of T Tund or something like that. I mean, they're never going to make a you know connection like that. Maybe they did in the uh, source books, and I just didn't know this yet. I mean, I guess I should have checked Wikipedia beforehand, but I never check Wikipedia anymore, so why would I start now? Uh, either way, overall, Junior J and Knights is really fun. It's not the best young adult series. In fact, they made much better young adult series later on, but this isn't a fun one. It's an enjoyable one, and to bring it down to that reader's level is fun. There are plenty of connections in the comic books in the expanded universe, obviously in Kevin J. Anderson's universe more than anyone else's, yet still, it's a good series, it's a good read, and anyone that became an Anakin and Tahiri fan out of it, I completely understand. It just sucks that these books are so hard to find now, and it doesn't look like they're going to be reprinted anytime soon. Alright folks, that's it for now. See you next time.